and fewer workers paying into the program in general. This illustrates the concerns people have of an unsustainable social security program. It can't survive indefinitely if there are more funds going out than coming. There is so much excitement going on. <laughs> hey YouTube, pipe and red beard. Ugh. The uh, macroeconomics. It's riveting, I tell you. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Uh, you anticipate a macroeconomics um, presentation to not be entertainment necessarily. But you could try. <laughs> you could at least try. Um, uh, I am going to try this tonight. Let's see if you can see it. It's a diesel bourbon barrel aged. I saw it at the local Smokies. Figured I'd give it a shot. And I have a lot to do this evening. Um, <laughs> and uh, I've already read a lot of homework. So I'm just going to take a little break here. Do a little cigar video. The So another cigar edition, as it were. Uh, I'm going to, I'll take the label off. So they say you're supposed to, um, it's the gentlemanly thing to do to, to take the label off. So you're not looking like you're trying to impress anyone with your cigar. Modesty, I suppose. That's a little dry. We'll just... Um, this is probably not the r ideal shape for a, a V cut, but we're going to go ahead and give it a whirl. Didn't do too bad. We'll do two like that. That's mostly left the shoulder alone. Well, anyway, looks like this. Mm -mm -mm. It smells good. So I'll toast the end of it. Nice and toasty. And get it to where it's even around. Like that. I will say this. I generally do not like the uh, infused cigars that have like uh, whiskey or cognac or whatever. Especially that uh, Maker's Mark. <laughs> you find them a lot around here. Uh, horrible. It's a terrible cigar. Blech. There was a Gurkha, I thought. That had... Um, they actually took a Gurkha cigar, unrolled it, and then actually infused it with cognac and put it back. I don't even know if they make that anymore. I think it was a Gurkha. Might be somebody else, but... That one was actually okay, but... This is kind of sweet. Uh, medium, maybe. Probably not even. I'm not tasting a whole lot of like whiskey flavor or anything. It tastes good though.
Um, I don't know how much I paid for this one, actually. I was going to tell you that, and I don't have it. But I got it at a local store, so you probably found it a little cheaper online. But it, it's a pretty good cigar. Um, I like the regular diesel. Um, I usually prefer a little stronger cigar over a mild one. Although, since I don't smoke cigars as much as I used to, and um, um, do the pipe more often than the um, more medium stuff actually is preferred. <sighs> yeah. Also, I've had a uh, probably influencing why I'm not getting I guess all the nuances from this is I've I've had a brick house Maduro today. It's been a cigar day. Uh, it uh, it wasn't very good, and it was. I mean, it tasted like a cheap cigar. You know, it smells good. Um, burned really well, actually. It was really even burning, but it was just a little um, harsh wasn't as smooth or dark as a Maduro should be. That's probably the best way to put the brick house, but this one Yeah, if you want like a medium cigar, it's pretty good. And the wrapper that's where I can kind of get Yeah, you can get a little bit of that whiskey flavor from the wrapper, so this. Huh. Not a bad stick. So it's funny, I'm. This macroeconomic class is. I actually really find it fascinating, but the. the amount of work that they have you do every week is pretty substantial and it takes away from my apologetics class um, I'm, I'm better at apologetics than I am at macroeconomics <laughs> but I want to spend more time with the apologetics class it's like I got a problem set it's like a report with questions that you got to fill out. That usually takes a couple hours. Uh, two of these quiz things, and each one of those usually take about an hour. And then there's a um, Wall Street Journal article. Um, like essay, so you you search for an article in the library that relates to the topic and then you um, you answer whatever questions that he's asking for you about the particular article that you reference um, usually it's just hey find an article that contains this uh, reference it and use it in your paper to explain economic theory found in the article so many words yada 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 it's usually not that bad but sometimes trying to expand on or, or I would say rephrase the article when it's economics <laughs> I'm not an economist nor do I want to be so it's a little, I'm just like, well, it says this and this. It's like, I get the point and I get what it's saying, but I don't really want to type a lot about it. It is funny, though, this macroeconomics class, we've gone through um, several things about uh, 
aggregate supply and demands and um, institutions and what leads to um, deficits and that sort of thing. Um, this this current um, current week is about. There's a lot about fiscal policies and how that affects things in the uh, spending versus outlays and stuff like that. It, it, it's good to know and I wish some of our politicians would learn some of this. <laughs> Be nice. It was tax day Monday. While, while we're thinking about economics. Hope everyone <laughs> had a great tax day. Yay. Don't get me started on taxes. Alright. I wanted to make this rather a little bit quicker than my usual rants and raves and stuff, but um, diesel, bourbon barrel aged. Uh, looks like that. Pretty good stick for medium bodied. Uh, yeah, bourbon barrel aged. Uh, you know, try one if you like the whole kind of bourbon infused type of thing. It's pretty good. Expect macroeconomics if you take it to have a lot of work. <laughs> Good times. Piping Redbeard. Later.